Hello, this is Josh here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Flutter for Mac. This is a free app in the Mac App Store, which allows you to use your uh, camera or hand gestures to control various music applications or um, media players on your Mac. So it supports uh, Spotify, iTunes, RDO, MPlayer, QuickTime, VLC, Keynote, YouTube, Netflix, Pandora, and GrooveShark. Um, so it supports all these different applications, and you use hand gestures to uh, play pause, go to next or previous songs or videos, and it's just very simple. So I'll just start showing you the application. You'll see it's up here in the menu bar. You have options to turn the camera off. So one thing is your camera is always on when you're using this application. So it might not be something you want to use if you're on battery power on a laptop or things like that just because it will use uh, a lot of uh, CPU, not CPU, it will just use a lot of uh, power just keeping the camera on things like that because it does have to constantly watch for if you're making a hand gesture or not. Um, you can select a preferred app so if you only use one of these apps all the time you can tell it to prefer that app um, and there's a, a few other preferences in here but I'll just jump into the application you can see I'm paused right here on iTunes um, on a current song so if I just hold my hand up with the, the hand gesture it'll start playing. Um, you'll see the little play icon came up so if I use the next gesture, it'll skip the next song. The previous gesture, it'll go back. So I can skip through songs um, very easily with just a hand gesture. One thing that's very handy is just the uh, the pause gesture, especially since it works on YouTube videos as well. But if you watch in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to switch over to um, YouTube and it's gonna say, um, now controlling YouTube. See, you're now controlling YouTube. So. From here, there's a YouTube video playing. I'll leave my mouse over here, hold up my hand, and it starts playing. It's very simple. The next and previous um, doesn't work on YouTube unless you're in a playlist. So um, that's not super convenient. So it'll say no next video to play. But uh, the play pause still works very well um, as far as that goes. So you can just do the simple hand gestures, um, skip through songs, things like that. It's just very easy. You don't have to switch applications, uh, things of that sort. And also, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, to control YouTube, you have to install a Chrome extension um, so it can control YouTube. But that's pretty much it for this application. Again, it's called Flutter, and it is free in the Mac App Store. Thanks for watching.